In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity. Heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Wind's mighty gods peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate.
Hello world, this here is Lorpit, and welcome to this uh, new let's play of Dark Souls. This is an amazing game that I wanted to do for a while. And uh, I'm not well I'm I finally gotten good enough at it to really play it. It's a pretty difficult game to get used to. But it is so much fun. And I've played it now many, many times and uh, well, gotten pretty decent at it. So, uh, my class is a pyromancer. Uh, that means that I fling fire at things to kill things. Well, if I want to, anyway. And, uh, yeah, we are here in the, the Undead Asylum. And this is a part I've done so many times that it's basically just a tutorial level, and uh, I'm mostly just going to sprint through it. Because uh, I play this game in a very non linear faction, uh, fashion. And, uh, hi there. Uh, we are just running now. now. As you see, we only have a broken sword as well. Not very good. And he's a boss. But yes, uh, I do not really play this game in uh, the order of things intended. That's what the developers get for giving me the option. And, uh, the start of the game, I am pretty, uh, damned at, I should say. I'm just going to run through it like I normally do. Now we have a hand axe and a shield. That's actually much better than a broken, broken sword. Yeah, this is. I love this guy. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for. I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I are both undead. Hear me out, will you? We'll hear him out. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. And thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know, and I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask, an undead favorite. Yoink. That's our healing, healing item for the game. Oh, and this. And that's a key. Now I must bid I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. This guy's deal is that he is undead, but he is not an insane undead, which is why he says he doesn't want to harm us after death. Basically, uh, oh, here's the pyromancer flame, allows me to flame fire. But basically, you play this game however you want. You, uh, you pick a starting class, but it does not play in any way addictive how you play the game. Uh, uh, I was planning on letting the viewers actually decide what weapon I should use for uh, for this playthrough, and uh, uh, that was a parry. And I'll be linking the uh, the script, well, the wiki site with all the uh, weapons in the game uh, beneath this video, and you can pick the one you want me to use. Well, if you find one that looks cool. If you don't know anything about the, weapon, about the game, then it's fine, but just pick one that you think looks cool and uh, ask if I can use that. Also, here we have the Asylum Demon. He's the uh, tutorial boss of sorts. difficult, but since I'm on camera, I'm going to make sure I don't mess up and die or something on this guy. Oh, see, it's terrible, terrible. Oh, now he's dead. Not too difficult, but we can actually get a new player to not terrible. He didn't die a couple of times during the first time I played the game, but thank you, he does not have a lot of health. And well, that's pretty much the tutorial over. You just uh, run up here, and then you get taken to. Well, I'll let the cutscene speak for itself.
Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. Here we are at Lordron, and we can now level up and kindle at, at bonfires. We can level up here to see if I can uh, get some strength, I guess. I can get some dexterity, I'm gonna get some dexterity. Uh, and, well, yes, a okay, guy, it's not a guy. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happens. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> isn't that guy Cherry? Uh, he's known as the Crestfall Knight. He pretty much just sits there for a long time in the game, and uh, does that. Just give you depressing advice. What I picked up there was some humanity. Uh, I will go into more depth about that in a little bit. Let's talk to this guy. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Isn't that rude? Let's talk to him again. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance, but I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Oh boy, he gave us a coin. Awesome. Uh, that's Petrus of Thordland. As he said, he's a cleric. He will sell you spells and let you join a covenant. Covenants are sort of like guilds, and they have different functions for PvP. Well, some of them does, but... His doesn't really, it doesn't really do anything. And uh, what I'm doing now is simply I'm going to go and uh, get an item that makes um, the start of the game a bit easier. At least I I always do this when I start the game and I see no easy not to. You know. uh, but yes, as I said, I will be linking weapons in the description. And uh, But there are a couple of weapons that I will not use. Uh, for example, I will not use the Claymore or Sway Hunt, Sway Hunter, or any daggers, because I have already done a dagger run, it was terrible. I uh, hate the Claymore and Sway Hunter, and uh, yeah. Other than that, pretty much all the other weapons are free game. Or fair game, I guess. This here is a message from another player, try jumping. If you try jumping out there, you die. So, uh, let's, let's not do that. No, anyway, this is... You land the ruins, we will be coming back here much, much later in the game. We're ghosts, we can't even harm these guys yet. I am simply going for a uh, soul, or, or a firekeeper's soul, as you see ahead of us here. And I'm just going to suicide out. Uh, so. That will be death number one. It's a pain to get back out, especially with the, uh, well, it's pretty much impossible to get out with the skeletons ambushing you there. 
but you can see we have Estus Flasks down there. This is used to upgrade the Estus Flasks so they heal for more. And we do that by talking to a Fire Creeper. This is a Fire Creeper, she uh, cannot speak, and she is the one keeping the fire above us lit, the bonfires. They are sort of save points, uh, they're level up points, and generally just safe points in the game. And the ones by Fire Creeps are special, when you reset them, uh, you get 10 Estus Flask instead of the normal 5. You can also uh, kindle bonfires to get more Estus Flask, but uh, I generally don't. And you can also reverse hollowing at uh, a bonfire. A reverse hollowing is pretty much what we are right now. You can see we are... we're pretty gross looking. And this guy isn't, that doesn't mean he's alive. He's also not dead like us, but he's not hollowed. Hollows are... Insane undeads, and uh, well, no one really knows why we don't go insane when we're hollowed, but we don't. Actually, let's just go ahead and reverse hollowing. I picked up humanity. Oh, wait, no. Uh, first, you have to use one humanity. So you have a humanity up in the corner, what's called soft humanity. And then you offer one humanity and reverse hollowing. There, we're human. Huzzah. Look at that face. You cannot make a pretty character in these games if your life depended on it. Anyway, we look better now. But, uh, sadly, that's all the, uh, the time I'm gonna have for an introduction episode. I simply wanted to clear the tutorial and uh, then let you guys just choose a weapon for me to use on this playthrough. This, uh, well, I've played the game several times and I've sort of run out of things to pick myself. So, uh, until then, everyone. Until then. Okay.